Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines where in the last episode we built or we started building this expansion to Marley Beach residential towers a park area a very nice looking theme park um, yeah, and some more services of course also we finished the island over here started building over here a little bit and just like in last episode uh, today I want to focus a little bit on expanding the population. We are currently almost at 40,000 people, uh, but we saw in the uh, statistics of the city that we have 26,000 jobs, but only 12,000 workers. So in order to get our demand meters a little bit more balanced, we need at least 12,000 more workers, which means we need to grow the city probably with like 20 or 25,000 people. So that is going to be the focus for the next couple of episodes. And today we're going to start doing that by filling in the rest of these spots over here with a lot of residential. Uh, last time we plopped down this cool looking hotel, um, which looks like it's part of the theme park over here. We need a little bit of parking on the back of it. And over here we're going to do a little bit of a shopping area because this hotel needs uh, shopping to function properly at the moment it's costing us a thousand a week um, we can have a masquerade yeah why not let's start a masquerade excellent uh, so this is the heritage hotel somebody has a better name for it or for the theme park Oh, jump the game. Or for the theme park, which is now called the Belmont Experience. Or for the park, which is called Prospect Park. Or for anything in this city. Please leave a comment down below with your suggestion. And yeah, we'll probably plop your name onto some of the areas in the city over here. So, with that being said, that is the goal for today. I think the objective is obvious. And so yeah, let's start building uh, with our first time lapse.
here we are uh, i did add a little bit of shopping over here to this part of marley beach um i also started with building some low density residential but i didn't get very far because when i looked over i noticed that this interchange over here this interchange was taking all the traffic coming into marley beach all the traffic going to sycamore square all the traffic going to more district and even some of the traffic going to the industry area and as a result the entire highway was backed up all the way from the intersection uh, all the way to the end of the map so yeah little detour had to do some traffic management we added a we added an interchange over here so traffic that needs to go into marley beach that is coming from this side can get off the highway uh, quicker and doesn't have to go through that intersection not quite sure about this <laughs> semi-circle thingy right here how this looks i did it freehand so it's not a, a a nice circle none of my tools allowed me to connect this road to this road in something like this without freeforming parts of it so that is what i did then over here we simplified this interchange a little bit this is now also one of those misshapen semi-circles and um you know what we can actually put the normal road back the way it was i also moved it a little bit more this way and so there wouldn't be as much traffic over here interfering with traffic from here but again now that there are multiple exits uh, for the highway this is no longer an issue and then of course i added one over here which is just uh, a symbol a single road that goes all the way down to here and to this interchange now, i'm not really a fan of how this looks over here uh, but you know it's functional so for now we're gonna keep it in also i added some parking uh, over here there were a whole there were a lot of cars parking on the road over here which indicates that there's some form of parking needed same thing for over here uh, except these roads don't have parking on them i believe these uh, roads uh, with these nice looking trees and benches on it. There is no parking on it. So we have to make sure that there is plenty of parking. As you can see here uh, on the roads where there is parking. And there are lots of cars parked over here. So probably need another car park over here as well. So yeah, little bit of traffic management that we had to do in the meantime. That wasn't planned. But yeah, it makes our city run a little bit smoother again excellent and then what we did over here i used some of the uh what's the korea building korea pack i believe wow that's loud um and some of the nighttime uh, nightlife shopping malls and stuff uh, this our hotel over here or now shopping is now at 13 it was at 15 now 13 for some reason but we have sightseeing at 45 we have shopping at it's 12 okay and nature obviously and it's making us about nine grand a week which is nice so yeah let's add another mass grade now the shopping is back to nine what the hell is going on eight right something is not right seven i mean there is shopping all around. I mean, we have shops over here, shops over here. These are uh, residential. Six? Come on. High crime rate and pollution have a negative effect. Maybe it's the crime rate? It wasn't 15. Now it's back at two. No, that hotel's DLC. Something is not right with it. I think something is broken in there. So... Uh, Crime rate is basically non-existent over here. We have a police station here, a police station here. Coverage is good. Wow. I don't know what else to do. Oh, what I did want to do though is I did want to add a bus line. Uh, because we have this bus line over here uh, near the entrance of the theme park, but we're not using it. Now let's add a bus stop over here. Excellent. 
Nice. Um, does that help? That does help. It's back to 15. This is somehow not at zero because business location. But there aren't any offices around, so... Yeah, something in this DLC is not 100% correct. Right, now that we've done that, we have... Now we have sufficient highway access. We have our bus routes over here. Um, so now it is time to finish the rest of this little area. Fill in the gaps and do some detailing, especially over here. This could use some detailing, some retaining walls, maybe some stones, some trees. Yeah, uh, This one over here also needs a little bit detailing as well, but pretty far out of the way. So, so we'll save that for uh, a later date. For now, it's just important that it's functional and it is so yeah let's quickly finish up this little area and see if we can get a population actually over 40,000 because 40,000 was the goal uh, last episode but uh, we seem to have gone backwards in population so yeah let's try and fix that shall we
Well, it wasn't the increase in population that I hoped for, but the area is completely filled in. At least the empty spots on this side of the main road are completely filled in. And we are up to a population of 41,000 almost. That's nowhere near the 50,000 that I wanted, uh, but at least it's more than 40,000. We now have 13,000 workers for 26,000 jobs, which is okay-ish, I guess. So let me show you what we've done. Oh, jumpy game. So on this side, we have these two beautiful half-round living towers with lots of green stuff on the outside lots of parks in the middle over here we have a lot of these low-rise apartment buildings by smileys we also have a couple of condo buildings by smileys um, i think they look really cool especially here over the water looking out over that island looking out over the mountains in the distance so yeah these would probably be premium apartments uh, just like these probably especially so close next to the theme park and then over here we have a little more low residential or low density residential uh, behind the hotel so yeah we filled in this area pretty nicely we are going to fill in the rest of this area over here make it look a little bit more natural we have a whole lot of space over here left this could be better this should be filled in and we are going to do that in the future but for now i want to focus a little bit on this part of the map because this will probably all be low uh, density residential and this one over here will be medium to high density residential so we're going to continue here in sycamore square so that is the next project that we are going to do and then yeah, hopefully we can get at least a couple more thousand. Ah, we're over 41,000. We're still growing and not everybody has moved in over here, I guess. But uh, yeah, I want to grow our population with at least a couple thousand more before the end of this episode. So that is what we are going to do over here. So let's get to it.
Here we are again, and we got a lot of work done. We filled in a big chunk of this part of the island over here. Mostly this is all residential buildings, all high density, medium density residential, all from the Brooklyn and Queens pack and from the eco buildings, green cities. This little neighborhood here, this one reminds me of one of those big Asian cities you sometimes see with row after row after row of apartment buildings just to keep up with the population growth. Except in this case, we don't want to uh, solve the population growth. We want to cause it because we need more people. And we're up to 45,000, which is nice. It means we got an extra 5,000 residents into our city. Um, I imagine when I fill in this little spot over here with some more high density, medium density, and maybe even this one as well, then that would put us over the edge uh, to 50,000, which will still be too few, uh, probably, if we want to fill all of our jobs. But we are slowly getting there. We did create a couple more jobs on this side of the island, though. I did add a little bit of fishing, uh, did add a little bit of commercial. So yeah, these businesses have jobs as well. 31 jobs available over here out of... Wow, this has a lot of jobs available, like 96, 120 jobs just in this hypernova alone, which is fair, I guess. I mean, a shop this size would probably have a good number of people working there. Uh, anyway, yeah, I added a little more fishing. I added a seaweed farm and I added a fishing harbor because we don't have a whole lot of fishing on this side. There is a lot of fishing over here. Manta Ray Bay and we did start some fishing over here. No, we didn't. There is no fishing at all on this side, which would be weird for, you know, a couple of different towns so close to the ocean, so close to the rivers. So yeah, added a little bit of that over here. Probably will add a little bit more on this side of the river once we get to that. And the rest of this is going to be filled in with more residential. Yeah, excellent. Then over here in the middle, we have a little bit of a school complex. We have a high capacity elementary school and the Institute of Creative Arts, which is a high school. And then, of course, some sporting, a gymnasium, all that good stuff. Excellent. So I think that is it for today. We brought our population up by a couple of thousand and still not enough, but we are slowly slowly getting there solved some traffic issues in the meantime while we were doing that we have these two new interchanges to get our traffic to where they want to go a little bit faster so yeah all in all this corner of the map is starting to look pretty nice this island though i'm not quite sure what we should do with that i don't want to put any residential on it or shopping i don't want to turn it into an industry it could maybe be a farm but I'm not sure if that would be feasible. For one, it won't be easy getting a road connection over here. The best we can do is probably extend this connection down and into over here. And then from this side, there isn't any room for a road connection. That's too far away, I think. And this would mean all the traffic would have to go through this part of the island which is not built for heavy traffic so we would have only the one road connection coming in over here mm, i don't know maybe we'll leave it just as is for now i think we should just add some trees you know, fill it up a little the beach can be left alone like so for now, this is just an island that maybe it's used by people to relax, to uh, boat to in the summer or to swim to even. It's pretty close to the shore, it's, uh, to the city at some point. So this could be just a nature thing. Uh, I don't want to make it an actual nature reserve with the in-game tools because that would mean it would have to have a... Uh, an entrance and an entrance needs a road connection so that would mean we have to create a bridge anyway so yeah maybe we'll leave it just as is for now 
If you have any ideas about what to do with this island, let me know and maybe we'll put your idea to the test. But yeah, this is going to be it for now. Next episode, we are definitely going to continue trying to get a population up to, I would say, at least 50,000, but 60,000 would be better. And the way we are going to do that is by filling in these little areas over here. Maybe a little bit of this over here. This part over here can be used as well. Um, and like I've been saying for the last 10 episodes or so, at some point we need to start building the main city. Maybe we just need to take a break from this corner of the map for a little bit and continue over here with the big city. That might be a good idea for the next episode because that is one of the biggest projects on this map that we are going to undertake. We are going to have to spend a lot of episodes building that over here. And yeah, I'm going to guess that while we are doing that, we might want to come back to other parts of the map, like over here and over here to finish work on there. So we don't spend 10 episodes in a row building in the same place over and over again. So yeah. That is enough rambling out of me. I want to thank you all very much for watching today. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.